your featured speaker, the Robin Hood of medicine, Dr. Sean McCaffrey. Yeah, yeah. I thought I would bring up something from the treasured past that most of the physicians here maybe haven't seen in a long time. It's called a doctor's bag. I brought mine with me today because I had to sneak one of my patients on board the plane, and it's not easy to do. Well, here they are. So let's find them deep inside our little crevices and take a little look-see at what we've got. Patient file, we like that, and oh, there they are, but they're shy. So we're gonna wait a moment, and we'll bring them out in just a second. I recently had a talk with Dr. Mehmet Oz. We were describing things to one another about where I see some of the flaws or the hiccups in healthcare. And today, in this world, more than ever, we were discussing the idea that maybe the strength in our medical system is also its weakness. Now that, that seems hard, it's hard to get your head around that, but is that possible? That your strength could be your weakness? Well, we both concurred that, yeah, it is possible. And COVID and coronavirus are pointing it out. The medical cartel is on its knees right now, telling you to wear your mask, wash your hands, stay away from each other, and if all else fails, pray until we get a vaccine. So that's what $4 trillion of healthcare buys you. Some wishful thinking and a prayer. I don't think so. So I thought, you know, what can I do that would be unique with this esteemed group of people that would be different, something you've not seen before? So I snuck a patient on board. So shh, here they come. We all know them, by the way, every one of us. So don't get teary-eyed when you see them. You ready? Here they are. Look at that. You remember this when you were little? We all had it, didn't we? We all played it when we were little. This is every patient that walks into every waiting room in this country. It's unique. It's got squares and triangles and circles and ovals and that little goofy star. But there's a problem. Each one of those symbols represents a different thing. And so the young lady that walked through my doors the other day, that came in to see me, said, Doc, here's what's wrong with me. No one's helped me. No one's been able to assist me. Can you help me? Sure, what's going on with you? Well, I've got arthritis. And I've been to the rheumatologist. I've had it for years. I said, okay, did they help you? Well, no, because they sent me someplace else for my rosacea, my skin problem. And then they punted me to the dermatologist. But then they found I had a blood pressure issue. I, I'm sorry. Maybe you're too red, you need more blue. I don't know. But then that person took care of me and sent me to the cardiologist, and they sat there and said, you know, cardiology, what is that all about? It's not your heart, it may be the rhythm. We need an electrical cardiologist. And all I keep hearing is ologist, 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 like I'm in a cave somewhere. And then she goes on to talk about her other problems, her low libido, maybe a sexologist. And it just kept going on and on and on. Years of imbalance, years of dysfunction. And in the back of my mind, COVID keeps coming around. I keep thinking, who are the people that die from this? Who are the people that get sick from this? The people that are seeing this laundry list of stuff and the ologists. See, medicine's great at compartmentalized care. And this is what Dr. Oz and I were discussing. They're wonderful. If you've got a knee problem, go see them. If you have a heart problem, go see them. But what if you're her? What if you have lots of problems? then who do you go see? They're all busy punting, kicking her to the other side. Nobody looks at the big picture, the elephant in the room. Well, I do. And I specialize in internal health. And the principle behind that is to get to the root cause of a problem. It's not to punt everything down the road. It's not to look for the extreme needle in a haystack. It's to look at the obvious. You don't walk into the room and go, Mrs. Smith, how you doing today? Burr, 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 and looking around, looking around. I don't see anything but Horton sitting there on the table. You can't miss a 6,000 pound elephant looking at you going, what are you doing? 
So we look bigger, bigger picture, bigger idea, because we're looking for that why. Now here's the trick. Medicine owns this. They own the circle. It's their world. So when they come along to our little patient and they find the circle, if that is your problem, it's 100% fix. But what if you walk in with, say, the star? Or you walk in with the octagon? Or that little half moon? They're going to take that and they're going to pound it in there and try to beat that thing into there. It didn't work when you were three. It doesn't work when you're 30. It's really common sense. Go back to basics. Restore normal function. Find the root cause and help people get their lives back. That's what I do. That's how I'm hanging. I'm Dr. Sean McCaffrey. I am the Robin Hood of Healthcare. Dr. Sean McCaffrey.